It is Tuesday, September 1st, 2020 at 4.21 p.m. All right, let's take a look at some of these headlines. We have PETA slams Elon Musk for implanting brain device in pig. PETA regards Elon Musk as a swine for implanting a brain device in a pig as part of a mind-bending invention he believes can cure everything from blindness to quadriplegia. In a statement, the animal rights group president Ingrid Newark challenged the tech tycoon to behave like a pioneer and implant the Neuralink chip in his own brain rather than exploit smart, sensitive pigs who didn't volunteer for surgery, don't appreciate that he provides uh, pats and straw, sell, and should be left out of the pie in the sky projects. On Friday, Musk unveiled a working prototype of his firm's brain implanting device, which aims to achieve human symbiosis with artificial intelligence. The adventure removes, uh, removes a coin-sized piece of a person's skull, then injects a tiny chip to assist with the motor control and other functions, he said. During the demonstration, the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX introduced a poor porker named Gertrude, who he said has successfully undergone a trial for installing the device. And I agree with Peter, he should leave the animals alone. He should leave people alone as well, because I don't agree with the idea of a chip being installed in humans. Although it could be productive for people who um, have certain diseases, I don't believe that a widespread um, chip implant for people is the right way to go. Alright, next. Cashless Society. There's many articles that I could have picked from a cashless society to read about, but I'm just going to read some of these headlines. It says what a cashless society really means. Cashless does not, does not mean what I think it means. Uh, why the ideas of a cashless society is so dangerous. And uh, is the coin shortage a government set up for a cashless society? That's something that I was thinking as well. Is the government trying to set up a cashless society on purpose? Are they removing the coins and the coin production um, and starting a sort of like a cash shortage um, so they could create their own thing? And this is when I looked up uh, Dabu7, Dabu7, uh, Dabu77 on YouTube. Check him out. He has a great channel. He has great information for a lot of people. He's saying, Banking for All Act, what you need to know about S3571 digital, digital pass through wallets and tracking. Pretty much he summarizes that the government is trying to pass an act uh, that has banking for all. But the thing is that it's on a blockchain and blockchain kind of tracks everything you do. It tracks all the money you get. It tracks all the information you, you do monetarily and they keep it in storage forever the information so you're tracked and that's horrible so check out Dabu77 and check out his video he has awesome information for you guys on this it is pretty amazing when it comes to uh, all the uh, groundbreaking information he finds alright let's take a look here quickly at this article it says the day money fell from the sky hundreds of pieces of meteorite rained down on Brazilian town you see here the the meteorites it says the 38.2 kilogram meteorite discovered in Santa Filomena, Brazil. It says thousands of people have rushed to remote Santa Filomena in northeastern Brazil after hundreds of chunks of huge, huge meteorite began to fall like rain from the sky. Up to 200 fragments of meteorite which fell on August 19 have been found so far and there uh, have been much more left. And you see here the the map of where Santa Filomena in Brazil is. It says the biggest piece weighed 40 kilograms and it is worth over $26,800. The same as 10 years worth of average salary in the area and was found on August 27th. Locals living in the town now refer to the meteorite storm as a miracle and the day when money fell from the sky. Most of the biggest rocks were found around the church further convincing locals that the rear meteorite was sent by God. And you see here the hole where the meteorite uh, landed. It says, within hours of the rocks following, meteorites hunters traveled to the town from other parts of Brazil, as well as professional collectors from the U.S. and Uruguay. 
A team of four scientists in Brazil's National Museum in Rio de Janeiro is trying to negotiate a prize for the biggest stone. They fear they won't be able to beat the prize being offered by the American hunter and that the rare rock will be shipped out of Brazil. The meteorite is believed to be a rare crondite, which dates back to the origin of the solar system. Only 1% of meteorites are rare of this type, and specimens can, can sell for tens of thousands of dollars. The largest crondite ever recorded weighs 1,770 kilograms and was recovered in the Jaylene meteorite shower of 1976. So it's raining, Brazil, it's raining meteorites in Brazil, or it has been as of August 19th. So that's something quite interesting. Does that mean that there's more meteorites uh, ha happening around the planet? I believe they are. I believe there's more meteorites that have been uh, passing by the Earth. One so was supposed to happen today, actually two were supposed to pass by the Earth today. Thankfully, no none struck the Earth as um, I, don't, I don't believe the second one has struck either. All right, next, apocalyptic fires prompt evacuation of more than 3,000 people in Spain. And you see here a picture of a man rescuing a horse. It says more than 3,100 people in Spain have been forced to evacuate as an out-of-control wildfire in the southern region of Andalusia co continues to rage. It has already scorched 100 square kilometers or 38.5 square miles. The firefighters are absolutely amazing here. What a horrific fire at Lungaville. I hope no one was hurt. And you see here a, a video image of the fire and the blaze. It says the blaze broke out on Thursday in the mountains near the town of Alamonster in, in La Real, 120 kilometers or 75 miles northwest of the city of Seville. 16 helicopters and 8 planes are helping more than 500 workers tackle the blaze, including firefighters and army emergency personnel th um, who worked around the clock this weekend. So they are fighting a lot, a lot of fires there. All right, guys, send prayers for the people in Spain who are fighting that fire. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hit like and subscribe for more. And hopefully we don't get brain chipped by Elon. <laughs> oh, I just found that funny that PETA was like, nope. <laughs> Alright guys, see you next time. God bless you guys.